um, see you on Tuesday for the online meeting. No worries. God will. Check out, mate. Peace with Diamond. Well. Thanks, Mr. Godwin. Take care. Yes, I will be here. Brother, brother. Here you go. How are you doing? How are you doing? You're right. I'm doing all right. Uh, I've just got a question. I want your like interpretation because I've been doing more debates. Yeah. And um, do you know what I say it is? Yes. Uh, yeah. So when they say the essence has to be our saying. Yeah. <clears throat> Do we say that the Father is our Savior? Yeah, essence, right? it's a hypostatic quality. Yeah, it only belongs to the Father. Yeah, that's what Muslims always bring yeah. up when they bring but up. The pro the, but the thing is, the thing is, the Muslims can't try to give us any lectures here. Yeah, because what they're trying to do is they're trying to say, look, there's a qualitative, quantitative difference, quantitative difference between the Father and the Son, because the Father is assay but the sun is caused by the father. Yeah, and I always use the analogy uh, Adam, Eve, and Seth. So, like, Adam was... Uh, well, I've got a better one for you. Yeah. Right? The point is, according to Islamic teaching, Allah has a foot, yeah. and Allah has a shin, and Allah has hands. Two right hands. Right. But those exist in every possible universe. Right? But they don't exist independent of Allah. So, Allah himself has a saity. Yeah. But Allah's shin and Allah's foot is caused and is yeah, dependent no, depend upon Allah. Well. Yeah, and I've also got a question about like emotional discipline when you're arguing because obviously I, I debate a lot on TikTok lives with my other friends. Yeah. Um, it's a way that I've had to like, gain friendship with other Christians. But when Muslims come off a lot of the time they commit blasphemy or they insult like for example Mary or Jesus. Yeah. So like how should we respond to that? Because obviously you have a very provoking response to all your videos. Yeah. So like how should I respond to that being... Because obviously I don't want put people to be off put by Christianity. Well the point is bro that, that, that it, it, like if someone it, I don't usually insult Muhammad oh yeah all I do is point out certain facts about Muhammad yeah because when certain we facts that Muslims don't like always, and then they say it's an insult yeah I always but it's say, always supported by their hadiths yeah when I always say that if you're gonna talk about morals you're gonna have to concede to a few disgusting things that that's the greatest extent I'll go to in terms of insulting the Prophet Muhammad I'm trying to get my friends to stop insulting yeah but, but, but the point is yeah. the point is it's not an insult to call Muhammad a paedophile. Exactly. He had sex with a child. That's just a fact. It's not insulting to say that Muhammad was a caravan robber. That's not an insult. That's just a fact. Exactly. It's not insulting to say that Muhammad had people murdered. That's not. That's just a fact. It's supported by their hadiths. Yeah. Now the point is they don't like what their hadiths say about their own prophet. Now there has been times where I have been insulting to Muhammad, like. I've said things that are insulting, but it's usually not when I say things like Muhammad had sex with a child. Yeah. And what do we call people who have sex with children? Right. It's usually when usually when they've insulted my mother. Yeah. And then I'll I'll say something out of anger back. And that's actually a fault on my part when I've sort of lost my self-control. Yeah. I also, I just, so my advice to you, bro, yeah. is don't meet insult for insult, but don't be frightened of stating facts either. Yeah. Right? The thing is, like, unless you can handle yourself in a fight, you gotta be careful what you say, because you might end up in a fight. Yeah. Right? So only say only 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 write the checks that your ass can cash. I also wanna thank you because uh, I don't know I when I before I was Christian I was incredibly lonely and I did wanna like end it. And I found Christ and when I went to like the disciples of Christ for example, when they started calling me brother and stuff and treated me like an actual person. Yeah. It was very uh, Emotion. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad, brother. And and the thing is that love of God yeah. is exactly what should be building us up. Yeah. So I'm very happy for you and I pray for you and yeah, thank you. come to the next Disciples of Christ yeah, protest. Uh, last time it was because I had a Christian uh, christening up in Scotland. Yeah. That, that's why I couldn't make it. That's all right. We'll be doing another one. They'll be happening every month. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. It's, all it's right. great. I just Peace love how brother. Christians treat each other. It's brilliant. It makes me cry every time I see it. Good. That's how it should yeah, be. Exactly. That You know, the Romans used to be annoyed by Christians and say things like see these Christians how they love one another and that's exactly what we should be we should be annoying to the world by our love for one another yeah have I given you one of these cards yeah yeah I have it all right thank you God thank bless you. take care